This video shows how to replace the steering box on a Ford 8N tractor. A 5 foot bush hog was pulled with this 1948 8N to mow the edges of row crop fields. When turning to the right, steering became difficult. It was decided to replace the older style box on this tractor with the newer model. This shows the original 8N steering box. It can be identified by the straight pitman arms and the four bolts on the sector shaft covers. In late 1949, at serial number 216-988, Ford replaced the original steering box with one a bit more robust. We found this one used, but new aftermarket ones are available. The new style will bolt in exactly where the old box was using the same four bolts. At this change, the drag links were also redesigned. You can still use the old style drag links with the new steering box. The shorter drag link is on the left with the old design and on the right with the new steering box. So just swap sides with them. The only other modification made by Ford was to the instrument panel. With an old panel, a notch needs to be made for the left pitman arm. Replacing the steering box is straightforward. You will need to remove the hood and the various components around the box. We will quickly show some of the disassembly. This parts diagram shows the steering box circled in blue. You'll need to remove the battery box and air cleaner, not shown, then the steering wheel and instrument panel support right arrow and the instrument panel in the center. The battery box and air cleaner have been removed. Remove the throttle and choke links, label any wiring, and unbolt the components from the support bracket and dash. Now remove the drag links. This shows the front end and the nut to remove and the back attached to the pitman arm with the nut to remove. Sometimes the drag links can be tricky to remove. Recall that the shaft is slightly tapered. If you hold a two pound hammer on one side then strike the opposite side it will often deform the parts enough that they will pop apart. Now by removing the four bolts, the steering box can be removed. Bolt the new steering box in place and reassemble the dash and support. The adjustment threads on the original drag links were badly rusted, so we put new links on. Before attaching the drag links, find the center of steering. From one side, count the number of turns to the other, then return halfway. Mark the steering wheel with tape so you know the center. Now bolt the drag links in place, adjusting so there is a slight toe-in of the wheels. Remember to fill the steering box with 90 weight gear oil. Most can be filled by removing this bolt on the right side. We use a small engine gas tank attached to the dash to test drive before putting on the hood. Luckily, this tractor drove real nice. 